Hi, I'm Jim DeRosa with the Mille Lacs Smallmouth Alliance. We've got some exciting news for you anglers that like to come to Mille Lacs and chase those trophies smallmouth that Mille Lacs is known for. Beginning this month and for the next six months, the Mille Lacs Smallmouth Alliance will be presenting a video on current lake conditions, what the bite is like, the lures to use, what depths to fish, and even how to fish those lures. You'll be able to view these videos on our web page, on our Facebook page, and our newly created YouTube channel. We're going to talk about the lures and everything going on the, the lake all through the season. The series will be hosted by local guides and people who live on the lake and fish it on a regular basis. All right, here's what you're really wanting to know and what to expect for opening day this Saturday, May 15th. First of all, the lake is very, very clear. We were out measuring water depths the other day for visibility, and we were finding clarity down to 10 to 15 feet of water. That was with the sun shining and with a good pair of polarized sunglasses. Surface depths, I think by opener, we can expect them to be in that 50 to 55 degrees. All the buoys are in the lake. All the ramps are open from what we've been told by the DNR. Uh, you want to target depths uh, in your fishing between 4 and 10 feet of water. And when you're in there, look for cruising bass. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see that you're going to be seeing fish cruising around in that shallow water. And here's a suggestion. Because the water is so darn clear, I, on your cast, I would back off a little bit and make a little longer cast so not to spook the fish. And some of my favorite lures that I like to use during pre-spawn conditions for smallmouth, first of all, are jerk baits. Uh, a variety of sizes, I like the 90 or the 110 series. I like a perch color, which is a natural fish uh, and forage fish in this lake. Some shiny minnow colors, you know, that's got some flash to them. Uh, and then I like to throw in a little bit of blue or purple with them. Another bait I like to use during the pre-spawn, in fact, all through the entire season, are tube baits. You know, tube jigs have been around and have been a smallmouth staple for years and years. What I do a little bit different with tubes this time of the year, I tend to like the smaller tube versus the longer, the larger tube. And that's the main reason is these crayfish are smaller in size. As the summer goes on, they'll get larger. But I like the smaller ones right now, uh, the two and a half to three inches versus the three and a half or four inches. Another bait that I really like to use this time of year, especially for a search bait, is a football head jig with a Zoom Super Craw on it. Pretty simple rig. Some guys like to put a living rubber skirt on it with a super, uh, with a uh, speed craw. And how I like to fish this is I look for the rock to sand transitions. Make a long cast out to it and just kind of drag it along the sand and the rock on that edge. And this time of year you'll see actually schools of fish hanging on that as they prepare to go into the spawn areas. Hair jigs are really fun to fish. They're pretty simple. It's a great bait for a beginner because really all you got to do is make a long cast and reel it in real slow. You don't have to use your rod tip to put action to the bait. Throw it out, reel it in slow, and the fish will let you know when they, when they got hold of it. The last couple years in my guide service, probably at least 50% of the bass we catch are, are being caught on the Ned Rig. It's a real simple thing. It's a last tech worm. You can, you can stretch them out. They stay on the hook. You can, you'll lose the bait uh, before the worm will break. And again, this is a beginner's bait. You don't really need to be a skilled angler to learn to fish this thing. You throw it out and kind of drag it along the bottom, maybe jerk it low and then let it jump. But it's kind of, a, of an imitator of a, a crawdad. And the colors that I like to use are all the crawdad patterns, you know, the greens, the browns. I'll tell you one that I really like is the peanut butter and jelly. Not too many guys use it, but it's in my arsenal, and I'll guarantee you it's going to be tied on my rod come opening day. One last bait you might want to consider tying on your rod for opening day, and that's the good old-fashioned five-inch curly tail grub. 
Other news you may be interested in hearing, we've had many questions over the off season if the Mille Lac Smallmouth Alliance will again be sponsoring the Big Bass Classic that we held last August. It was a very successful event. We had over a hundred and some anglers turn out that day for a fun-filled day of fishing for trophy smallmouth. The answer is yes, we're working on the final details now and we should have an announcement about the Big Bass Classic in the very near future. It looks as though it'll, it will again be held in August of 2021. Finally, if you enjoy fishing Mille Lacs for these trophy smallmouth bass, we encourage, we encourage you to consider joining the Mille Lacs Smallmouth Alliance. We're a nonprofit group whose sole purpose is to promote, maintain, and preserve this world-class trophy fishery. All donations and memberships are tax deductible. You can get more information about joining uh, the Mille Lacs Smallmouth Alliance or just more information about the Alliance itself by going to our website, the Mille Lacs Smallmouth Alliance.com. Until next time, we hope you have a great safe opener. And if you like this video series, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. The details will be listed below. Have a great opener, everybody. Thank you.